Hi there, biologist Alexa here. You probably didn't notice me because I'm wearing camouflage, camouflaging into these treacherous woods. I am going to give you a tour today of the Bowmanville community where I'm going to be teaching you to survive. Oh, there it is. The Typhalatifolia, the common cattail used by the aboriginals to make bedding and beds. It also was used to make mats with this cottony things coming out of the flower. The broadleaf cattail is in the domain Eukarya, the kingdom Plantae, phylum Spermatophyta, the class Monocotyledonae, the order is Poles, the family is Typhaceae, and the genus is Typha, and the whole species is Typha latifolia. This is the perfect area for a waterfowl. Like you can see over there, there's some Canadian geese. That reminds me of the time I fostered Cayuga ducks, also known as Anas platyrhynchos domesticus. They were first spotted in Lake Cayuga, in New York State. You hear that sound? That's the red-winged blackbird up on the wire there, right by that willow tree. Oh, look right here. The weeping willow's just beginning to bud. We also call this tree the Salix Babylonica. Look at the size of this willow tree. It's one of the fastest growing trees. It, some people don't realize that it can be used as a natural aspirin for pay, back pain and headaches. It's great for hiding from predators too. Oh, you scared me there. We've got to be quiet because we're in the Bowmanville Marsh and there's lots of red-winged blackbirds around. Also known as the Agileus Venetius. You could cast a spell with that name, it sounds like. You can really identify these birds by their name, the Red Wings. A red-winged blackbird is in the domain Eukarya. Its kingdom is Animalia. Its phylum is Chordata. Its class is Aves, its order is Passerforms, its family is Icteridae, its genus is Agileus, its species is Agileus Phoenicius. Welcome to our local beautiful crownlands. Let's get started. Another survival go-to, the Great Mullen, also known as Verbascum thapsis. It can also be used as a nice tea. It helps relax the muscles and inflamed areas, which I will be using tonight for my small legs. The Great Mullen is in the domain Eukarya. Its kingdom is Plantae. Its phylum is Tracheophyta. Its class is Magnolia psitta. Its order is Lamiales. Its family is Scrofulariaceae. Its genus is Verbascum, and its species is Verbascum thapsis. Listen to the water. Oh my god! There's a West Highland Terrier in there. This one doesn't look that vicious. She's also known as a dog, or Canis lupus familiaris. It's an ancestor of the wolf, the common wolf, Canis lupus. She's running away from me. Hi. 
She's very good dog. A dog is in the domain Eukarya. Its kingdom is Animalia. Its phylum is Chordata. Its class is Mammalia. Its order is Carnivora. Its family is Canidae. Its genus is Canis. Its species is Canis lupus. And its subspecies is Canis lupus familiaris. Look around, there's tons of moss everywhere. On this specific branch, there's the common moss, Ulata crispa, also known as crisped pincushion. It spread, it releases spores throughout the winter, and that is how it spreads everywhere in Bowmanville. The crisp pincushion is in the domain Eukarya. Its kingdom is Plantae, its phylum is Bryophyta, its class is Bryopsida, its order is Orthotrichales, its family is Orthotrichaceae, its genus is Ulata, and its species is Ulata crispa. I've never been a rule follower much. Come on, let's go. We've got a river to cross. It's a little bit dangerous, but we can get through it. Ah, the perfect place to cross. We've made it across the river. Let's go find shelter for the night. Look through my bag for uh, my survival utility tool. Oh, there it is. It's got a little magnifying glass so that I can see what type of slug is on my foot. Ah, oh, you know what that is. Looks like a Arian subfuscus, also known as the Western Dusky Slug. A Western Dusky Slug is in the domain Eukarya. Its kingdom is Animalia. Its phylum is Mollusca. Its class is Gastropoda. Its order is Stylomatophora. Its family is Arianidae. Its genus is Arion. And its species is Arion subfuscus. I'm gonna hold on to this guy. Protein for dinner. Hydration is key for all organisms. Every survivalist knows protein is key. We need this to survive. Looks like slug soup's on the menu for tonight. We're finding lots of mollusks today. While I was getting wood for my shelter, I'm finding snails. They're actually called the common European amber snail. The scientific name is Succinia putris. The European amber snail is in the domain Eukarya. Its kingdom is Animalia. Its phylum is Mollusca. Its class is Gastropoda. Its order is Stylomatophora. Its family is Succinidae. Its genus is Succinia. Its species is Succinia putris. The sumac all around. The sumac tree is used for teas, and the aboriginals first saw it and introduced it as a natural medication, and is still used for medications today. The sumac tree is also known as Rus glabra. This is an up close. I'm stealing this for my tea tonight. The smooth sumac is in the domain Eukarya, the kingdom Plantae, the phylum Tracheophyta, the class Dicotylodons, the order Sapindales, the family Anacardiaceae, the genus is Rus, the species is Rus glabra. A good mullein and sumac tea creates warmth in the body and relax the muscles. I've created shelter. It's key for survival as nightfall approaches. I've lined the bottom with some cattail, just as the aboriginals did, for some nice bedding. See you tomorrow morning. <laughs>